All right, welcome everyone to another Radio Free Cybertron review. I'm your host, Diecast, and today we have the very first Warbitron WB03-A, which is their not afterburner, uh, which they're calling... I keep forgetting the name, so once we get this box open, we'll take a look. And uh, go ahead and first thing, take a quick look at the packaging. This packaging, I wish it would show it on camera. It is amazing. It actually feels almost like a leather box, uh, like you would get in a nice watch or some iPad packaging. Really good quality box. And I'm not one to really, uh, I don't really care too much about the packaging, but it's pretty plain. On the one side, there's nothing there. You have this little slip that says uh, Collection Warbitron. And let me slide that off to just get that out of the way. And one thing that's going to do is it's going to allow this window to flip up. And you can actually see see him in his packaging, Turbo Ejector. Great name. <laughs> um, some of the art on top of the packaging. Just bring that up a little bit. You can see a nice artwork. I believe that's actually the same artwork that's on his uh, card. Close that back up. On the back here, you see a nice image of Computron, or not Computron. Uh, I don't even know if the big guy actually has a name, uh, what they're officially calling him. And one of the things that slip covered up was this little tab right here a uh, little oh, that that's not supposed to happen but uh, I'll put that back in place this is actually to pull out the box and it slips out sorry about the glare and there you have turbo ejector in his packaging then go ahead I'll just turn this upside down to get the rest of the box out of the way here we have the contents first thing you get is that card I was telling you about very nice turbo ejector WB03-A and then on the back you have his only three tech specs on this skill strength and intelligence and his intelligence and skill are four and strength is a three that surprises me with how many guns this guy has because he's just loaded up uh, you get the instruction manual which has a very nice picture of him also nice silver lettering and then I thought maybe we might get a comic because of how many pages it is but it is just a nice instruction booklet with about you know six steps on each page and it also gives you his transformation from vehicle to arm so no comic another picture that there on the back of uh, not Computron but again, very, very nice. I really think the packaging on this guy is excellent. The instructions are excellent, um, easy to follow along with. The card is excellent. The box is excellent, which I think I said that already. And here is Turbo Ejector. Oh, one last thing that was in the package. The instructions do not say anything about this, but there's two little gears and these uh, for I guess extra ratchets I guess if your ratchets wear out you can replace them I'm not sure if they're for turbo ejector if there's for if they're for someone else um, but you do have that and now let's get turbo ejector out of his packaging which he will just slide out 
Uh, mine came in the mail. Two of the pieces were a bit a little bit loose and rolling around in the package. One of the guns and one of these shoulder cannons. But the figure had no damage or anything like that. So here he is. Out of his plastic prison. And as you can see... He has some really nice orange color, bunch of silver, some gold, uh, some black, some grays. Uh, his exhaust tips, which double as cannons up here, even have a really nice um, like carbon look to them on the end, as if he if he you know was using the exhaust. How your exhaust pipes get that uh, kind of soot on them. So it looks really good. He really did a nice job with this. He has really nice light piping. And of course I'm probably blocking it. You can see right there. Just gorgeous. Heads on a ball joint. You can spin his head all the way around if you want. There you can see the light piping is the whole back of the head. Uh, which Warbitron's been doing a really nice job with their light piping. Just excellent as far as articulation his arms can go up about that high they can spin as far back as this will allow there is a way and I'll show that off in a second how you can put this wheel actually behind him kind of like the original G1 toy um, I will let you know on the arms or on the hands here I did have to loosen that screw because the hands were so tight I could not just flip them out and they're still pretty tight um, but I didn't want to loosen it too much because it started to cause a gap up here so I loosened it as much as I could and to be honest actually I loosened the screw and then noticed that so it could have been like that before I started loosening the screw that being said go back to uh, his articulation he has a swivel at the uh, lower part of the arm it almost looks like he has a double jointed elbow, but it actually is a single joint. Instead of putting the elbow joint all the way at the bottom, they have some really nice gear, uh, like fake gears, on the back of his arm. And they put the joint right up here for the, for the forearm, which makes it really nice lots of lots of range on that arm come down to the waist he does have a waist swivel and then he does have ratcheted universal joint his legs can go out go all the way back knees also have that same uh, gearing which is just I mean any way you pose this figure he looks great everything's really tight um, typical of what warbatron has been doing foot is on a peg and a ball joint so you get nice motion on the foot there is a little heel spur on the back there's this piece too which goes in and out and I don't know why I don't actually think there's reason for that in the transformation there was nothing uh, that had me move this out at all so I don't really know why it does that but it really probably doesn't need to <laughs> uh, he does rotate at the upper part of the thigh as well so which is pretty typical for what Warbitron's been giving us and another thing people will be happy about is the guns they do not have little slots on the pegs so you can go ahead and just slide him into the hands nice and easy and he's not going to break anything you know the the guns aren't going to break anything so i mean warbitron does seem like they're definitely listening to what we're asking for and this figure just shows it cuz it is just amazing just a quick look at the back there see the nice
The wheel spins, but the vents do not. I thought they did, but they don't. This wheel on the back can come down, and that's how you can form that wheel on the top of his head. You can peg these together. Peg the two wheels together at top, and that'll give him the wheel on the back of his head. Which is nice if you want that G1 look. I really do like this with the with the wheels split apart and over top of his head just because it gives him those extra guns which just looks I mean super cool. Extra guns are always awesome. And on the hands these two little pieces that come in the box you can uh, put them on his hands in robot mode the one thing it does cover up these guns that are already painted and molded onto his forearms but basically and it's pretty it's a pretty tight connection they just kinda plug in and sit there and then that little clear gun can extend from his forearm so that uh that arm isn't too bad. This arm's actually a little bit tighter on mine. But I'll plug that on just to give you an idea. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna plug it all the way on. It's just so give him extra armament. So he's just just Excellent. <laughs> I mean, I can't I can't say it enough how much I like this guy. And I thought he was going to be really difficult to uh, transform. And he's not that difficult to transform from any of the modes. Just for a quick size comparison. Someone asked on uh, one of the forums if I could pose him next to MP10. So here is MP10 with him. Move that back just a hair. Here he is with Wheeljack. So he is a little bit bigger than Wheeljack. Let's also bring in Warbitron's Not Brawl to get an idea. Stand straight, Not Brawl. And just bring them out a little bit further and put them next to each other. And I was almost going to say that, you know, the quality is about the same. There are a couple little things that are tighter than they should be on this guy. But looking at him next to Brawl, man, there is definitely an improvement between, uh, between the figures. So... I think that's it for comparisons. Let's go ahead and get these guys out of the way. And we'll go ahead and get into transformation. So first thing I'm going to do for transformation is I'm going to close up these missiles. Get them out of the way. Again, they're, they're pretty tight. I don't know that I'll be posing him with them or putting them on all the time. And then these pieces are some of the other uh, problem I ran into for the transformation. But let's go ahead and transform him. Uh, first thing you want to do on this guy, go back to the back, pull the wheel back, just like that. Then you can come up top here, bring the wheels together. Now the wheels have these really nice tabs on them that tab in and hold the wheel together excellent and just hide out of the way you can't even tell they're there when you peg the wheel together and you're gonna take the, the uh, guns or exhaust ports flip them to the back straighten out his head a little bit 
and just pull these up to the top. There you can see the light piping too. Just excellent on this guy. Next you want to come down to the hands, open up the forearm panels. I like to put the fists, make sure the top of the fist goes in last. It seems to fit into um, his forearm holes pretty nice. So fingers go in first. This even has detail on the back side there. Nice little or ridges. So now that we have the arms done, bring the arms up. They're actually going to tab in in two places. One right there and there's a peg right there that pegs into there. So just peg those in. Same thing on this side. Peg those in. Now we're going to come down to the legs and just peg the legs together. Bring the feet up. Bring these back panels down. I mean, you can leave them down for now. You don't really need to. Like I said, they, these swing out, and I just I don't know why. Um, I guess that could be used as an extra stability for posing. I mean, there is there is that. So but or maybe it's something to do with the weapon. But anyway, collapse the legs. And then you're going to unhinge the whole waist. unhinge the waist and these feet I did transform these wrong These just kinda sit out straight just like that and then when you unhinge the waist bring that up and bring the legs down and they're gonna peg right into the top of the chest just like so. Now you can bring this front wheel up and it's going to peg in where the to the bottom of the waist. And then now all you have to do is these panels right here on the top are going to rotate around rotate around and then they these little pieces on the front flip them out and then you want to clip all this together which does these are on ball joints also and it is pretty tight getting it down because you're supposed to get it down in front of that ridge And it's almost better to try and work them down and then peg everything in. There we go. And you'll feel it once it gets past that point. Now we're just clipping that together. And then you can come around to these side pieces and then bring those all the way around. They'll clip in right to the front. And now we're almost done except for these two pieces, the extra pieces that came in the back or came in the came in the box. We're going to peg them together. And then there's four pegs right here on the end of these. And if you flip these feet up, 
you'll see there's four pegs right here. Now these pegs seem to just be a tad too big. I could not peg them all the way in. And the two middle ones you could start to see some stress marks uh, from me pegging them in. Like I said, it's minor. I don't think it's going to break. It's not really showing on camera too good. You can kind of see it right there where the stress marks are starting to happen. And then you just bring down these pieces. So that's my only complaint really with these figure. this figure is that those extra pieces are just tight no matter where you put them. If they're in the arms or whatever and there you have there you have turbo ejector in vehicle mode and he is really nice I really love this guy I mean I just can't say enough how awesome he is uh, for size comparison here he is with deluxe drag strip and he is he is a big bot these is exhaust just looks so nice just for a top shot and now the guns I know I probably didn't pose him with enough vehicle I don't have a lot of my transformers actually in vehicle mode so uh, without pausing everything and transforming four different toys I hope that's okay that we're only getting really one size comparison in vehicle mode. The guns, which are really nice, have a lot of nice silver and black and even some gold on them. Uh, the handles flip back, and you can peg them on the car in a bunch of places. You can do the front wheel here if you want. You can do it on the arms, right there. You can do it above the arms, right there. So, wherever you want to put these guns, it's really up to you. I'll just put them on top there, so you guys can see how that looks. Then we'll come down and put them on the bottom. All these ports too are pretty, pretty tight. Uh, so it's really going to be up to you how you want to put them on. I kind of like them in the front. Just extends the the vehicle mode. I think it looks really good that way. Gives them sort of that long and skinny look. So, get the guns out of the way for a second, and we'll go ahead and transform him into uh, into arm mode. First thing the instructions tell you to do is take these panels back off. And then what it wants you to do is flip these up. Again, these are the ones that you got to be really careful with. You really don't want to crack these, especially because they're clear plastic. They're sort of painted on the un underside too, which is kind of nice. Um, but you take these two panels in front and flip them underneath. And then we'll bring these back down just like that. And then unpeg the legs. And you're basically going to straighten the legs out again unpeg the legs peg his waist back into his upper torso and then straighten the legs out and at the same time you can pull the legs out which sometimes unpegs the torso 
and that'll give him his arm mode. Then it also tells you to take these hands, unpeg them, bring them around, fold them up, kind of fills in his chest area. Same thing on that side. Then you want to flip this panel up to reveal his combiner port and it actually sits right in front of his face so it covers up his face and I did learn that if you unhinge this at the waist you'll see that you'll have access to the combiner port which I originally could not flip out the combiner port but by getting that access it gives you just enough room to pull that combiner port out then put the waist back together and then down here in this extra bit this extra plastic you can pull them out and these flip up and then there's two pegs on the front of this right here that these will plug into to kind of beef up his arm just like that and then the feet this is the step that I was thinking of when the feet flip around. Just like that. And then these panels can come up and basically what they do is kind of hide the legs a little bit. And there you have uh, there you have him in a uh, in arm mode. So of course the hand would go and he's coming unpegged. That's because these pieces are sliding. These are a little loose uh, on mine. That's that's the the loosest part of this whole uh, this whole figure. But plugged in they he, they shouldn't open up too much. But on the box it does have him shown as a right arm and then you would separate the legs and that is where the hand would go so again he's really nice and he's ratcheted right there so I think he'll hold pretty well this gun you could even angle it down in the front if you want to try and give him a another cannon they just they. <laughs> They really outdid themselves on this figure. It's just excellent and definitely worth picking up. And I'm super excited that I passed on the Mach-A toys, not Computron, because I really wanted a bigger Computron. And the Mach-A toys looked a little fat in the chest area. So this is just... He's just going to be excellent, I think. So, again... Thank you guys so much for watching my reviews. It's definitely been a work in process, and I think they're getting better. Uh, please, if you like my reviews, make sure you uh, subscribe, comment, share, everything you can do. If you want to pick up this figure, also check out The Chosen Prime. Uh, they've been really great in sponsoring us, and I really I do appreciate them. And I just want you guys to, uh, if you haven't ordered this yet, go over to thechosenprime.com and you can pre-order this and it should be shipping out to you guys soon.